are the kings of Compton Hill. My Lord. My Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to his name. Wonderful job with King Sang, didn't it? Amen. They got great harmony, too. Man, they, I don't know how this sounds, but they sure have gotten better, ain't they? Man, they, they are good, man. Amen. I would they were roughing us. Amen. I know. Amen. Him who died once and will never die again, whose name is above every other name, that the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. For that reason, we will buy the truth and sell it not. A word that fit to be spoken on like apples of gold and pictures of silver. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ also the God of our comfort and the God of our hope, who according to his abundant mercy hath begun to get again to a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Again, morning, Compton Hill. Amen. Let us take God's word and turn to Psalm 103. Psalm 103. We stand for the reading of God's word and for the God of the word. Psalm 103. <clears throat> Let's say it together. Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. Thy servant heareth. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. Amen. And man, we can... Read this one together. Amen. Did there say amen? Amen. Okay, Psalm 103, start at verse 1. Right. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and healeth all thy diseases, redeemeth thy life from destruction. Crown of thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Like the eagles. Amen. Well done. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'd like to speak to you for the time that is mine. A reason for Thanksgiving. All right. A reason for Thanksgiving. <clears throat> There are moments, people, and places in our lives that take us to another dimension or reality. A place where we actually have no words for. I think of two of those moments in my life. One was prior to my giving, devoting my life to Christ when I was holding my dad when he passed. I knew then that that was a moment in my life that I would never be the same again. I didn't know how. The second one was when Pastor P passed in my home. And I had been walking with him and with God for coming up for two years. And I was holding him. And I knew then I would never be the same. But I knew why. All right. uh, those two spiritual Giants and mentors in my life. Arms. Uh, and uh, now I'm grateful for those moments. But at the time I didn't. But, but those moments caused, the French call it uh, je ne sais quoi. The Latin word is je ne sais quoi. It means something that defies explanation. All right. 
There are no words you can use to help in that situation, to explain right. it, to, to comfort you. It's beyond words. Right. And some of the songs are so moving, they capture every shifting mood of human emotion. To read or hear them read, you're transported to another place. The Bible says, bless the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And then I think of other Psalms. It says, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yeah. nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree. Planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so. They are like the chafe which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. O oh Lord, O oh our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Yes. You know, in Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anoint my head with oil, and my cup falleth over. Surely! Surely goodness and mercies have followed me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, and all that it dwell therein. Oh, y'all are oh, gonna get with me on this. Amen. Uh, the Bible says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, yes, sir, the Lord of hosts. Amen. Oh, help me, somebody. He is the King of glory, Lord Almighty. Oh, help me somebody. Amen. Beloved, hear me. Amen. He said, the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. Oh, Lord. The, beloved, amen. The Bible teaches me, amen. It says in Psalm 100, hey, the Bible says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. Y'all know some of these. Yeah. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and to his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Oh, yes, Lord. Yeah. Remember me, O oh Lord. Amen. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Amen. Of whom shall I be afraid? Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou be bearest unto thy people. Oh, visit me with thy salvation. Yeah. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. For in the time of trouble, yeah, he, will. he will hide me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and you the right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the Joy of thy salvation, uphold me with thy free spirit. Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth, and shoot forth thy praise. For thou art righteous, O Lord. Oh, help me, y'all. Y'all want to get with me in this? Amen. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord that hath made heaven and earth. Bless thee out of Zion. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the permanent of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sound and harp. Praise him with the timbre and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him with high sound and cymbal. But everything that hath breath, praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Oh, call on him. Call on him. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord. Call on the Lord and get an answer. Bless this holy name. Amen. Days in the mirror. Days that I've been young and I've been old. But I've never, yes, sir, never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed begging for prayer. 
Yes, sir. Amen. 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 Walk with me through the text here. Amen. 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 First, I want you to notice, amen, the request. Mm -hmm. Amen, the request. Amen. He says, bless the Lord, and oh, my soul. Yeah. Amen. Love it, hear me. Amen. Doesn't matter, yes, Lord. If it's the last Thursday in November, bless the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. On Tuesday, yeah. bless the Lord. Yeah. On Friday, bless the Lord. Yeah. Amen. When you wake up, Bless the Lord. Amen. Yeah. When you sit down, bless, bless the Lord. Lord. When you sit yeah. down to eat, bless the Lord. The folks are lying on you. Bless the Lord. Yeah. When you raise get a raise on your job, bless the Lord. Yeah. When you get a new house, bless the Lord. Yeah. When you got a burning house, bless the Lord. When you feel good, bless the Lord. Yeah. Not so good, bless the Lord. When you got a headache, bless the Lord. When you got a heartache, bless the Lord. When you're in your right mind, bless the Lord. When you're losing your mind. Bless the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind. Bless the Lord. Yeah. Every time you think about God's goodness towards you, you need to bless the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Let me, uh, let, me, uh, let me unpack the word bless. Uh, the word, the Hebrew word is Barak. Amen. And also like the word, there's also the word Barak. Now Barak means praise. Barak means to kneel. All right. Oh, you ain't hearing me. Come on, Amen. So when you praise and bless God, you need to prostrate yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You throw yourself down before him like an inferior to a superior, like a child before a parent. Amen. You know, I didn't publicly say my dad's name out loud until I was in the second grade. Mm. I need you to hear me here. Amen. I had, a, I had too much reverence for him. Yeah. Uh, I just said, Daddy. Right, right. Or Dad. Amen. And my older brother, that's all he said, Dad. Mm -hmm. Now, in my, in my second grade teacher's name was Miss Moore. And Miss Moore, amen, second grade, asked us all to write down our parents' first name. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I asked her, uh, Miss Moore, uh, how do I spell Dad? <laughs> help amen. She says, No, son. Amen. The dad's name was Willie. Now hear me. But I just revered him and I feared him. Not like a you know animal or a bear or a big dog. But my reverence for him was so high, I just would not let his name come out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, I had a close friend, he's known to be the Lord now. We were coming up, his name was Jerry, his name was Jerry Madison. And I, and he came over at our house, uh, I guess I was maybe in maybe third or fourth grade. And uh, he was like my first guest in the house. Mm -hmm. And my dad was had walked in and watched the car. And he said, Steve, introduce me to your, to your friend. And I said, uh, uh, Jerry, I want you, this is. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Because I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't say his name. And Jerry, this ain't your dad. <laughs> So my reverence for him, he was my dad. And I said, Dad, this is Jerry. Jerry, this is, Dad say, your father, Steve. Your father. What am I saying? That was just my reverence. Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Yeah. For my dad. He was my dad. Oh, I won't get emotional. But right. That's what it's like to bless God. The Hebrew wouldn't, the Hebrews wouldn't even write the name Yahweh. Amen. They would write W-H-Y-H. Because his name was too holy to write or to say out loud. That's the kind of name we should have for God. When we think about praising, blessing, and talking to God, we need to prostrate ourselves. Fall down in reverence. Fear and trembling because God is God, not the man upstairs. Right, 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 right. Oh, now you're going to hear me. Here. Yeah. I wouldn't sleep tonight if there was a man upstairs. Yes, Amen. 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 God is not some high power. Mm. Oh, 
Y'all hear me? Joe Biden is higher power. But he didn't wake me up this morning. Right. Help me somebody. Barack Obama is a higher power. But he give me health and strength. Yeah. Yeah. Never, 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 never refer to God as a man upstairs. Yeah. Ever. God is high and lifted up. Yeah. Isaiah said, in the year that King Uzziah died, yeah. I also saw the Lord high and lifted up. Yeah. Amen. And his train moved, yeah. amen, in the temple. Yeah. And the seats and the wood moved around because of the, the presence of the living God. Yeah. Now, if pieces of wood mm. has the sense to move in the presence of God, The wood jumped up from the nails in the floor. How dare you, Compton Hill, drive here in God's car, sleep in God's house, yeah. spend God's money, yeah. eat God's food, yeah. and act like you got here yourself. Yeah. Thank you, somebody. Amen. If you're in a dead section, you have my permission right now to move away from somebody. Amen. Sitting like they in like a corpse. Amen. Sitting there like they, they need, smelling like they need an autopsy. Get up and find you a hot spot. Amen. Get around some people who know how to bless God. Amen. Not just, oh my head, oh my heart, oh my hand, but it says, oh my soul. Everything that makes me, me. Let me see about it. Yes, Lord. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this thing this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Beloved, hear me. Is involved in how I bless God. You can look in my eyes and see I'm happy to be in the service yeah. one more time. Oh, you better hear me. My expression, my voice, I'm loud in praise yeah. because God has just, just been just that good. Yeah. Oh, you better hear me. Amen. He's been just that good. It's amazing uh, when uh, Beyonce was here. I'll never forget this. Uh, they had it on the news, and amen. People was hollering and screaming, amen. Uh, you don't know it, but hear me. Uh, some of y'all in here was at that concert. All right. Amen. I saw some of the stuff on social media. Amen. <laughs> amen. You were in there, and, uh, you know, you're hollering, uh, Beyonce! <laughs> Beyonce! Beyonce! <laughs> today. Yeah, we had the concert. I'm Beyonce! And you're coming here. <laughs> the time to be cool. The time to be calm and the time to be collected. There's also a time to act like you know. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Act like you know. Yeah. And that time is now. Yeah. Amen. You got some stuff right now that you got no business having with the, because God gave it to you. Now is a good time to act like you know. You need you need some stuff that God can give you. Now is a good time to act like you know. Oh, y'all don't hear me. You need God to bless you with a doctor, a lawyer, a mama, a daddy, your sister, your brother, a friend, a co-worker. They can't surprise you, but now is a good time to say, Jesus! 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 Act like you know! Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that was in me. Bless his holy name. Oh, help me somehow. You see the request. Amen. I'm looking through the text. Amen. Look at the requirement. Amen. In verse 2. It says, Amen. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Oh, help me somebody. The requirement is to forget not. Thankfulness is a command. Yeah. A lot of you were raised like I was raised. You taught to say please and thank you. Yeah. Right. Somebody gave you some. My parents would say, uh, uh, Mom would say, what you going to say? What you going to say? Yeah. We better say with a loud voice, thank you. Acting shy. And, you know, say, Mom would say, what, what, if, you don't say if you don't say something, I'm going to do something. 
I got to hear me. Amen. Our parents made us have good sense. Right. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You know, my son, Stephen, <clears throat> got hired every place he was interviewed. Mm. He never went to an interview and didn't get hired. Right. Because he said, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now, they better fire him three weeks later. <laughs> but he got hired everywhere he went in an interview. Because, hear me, you, he had manners. Right. Our folks teach us how to have good manners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, help me somebody. Uh, 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 the, the essence is, beloved, uh, if God has been good to you, mm. Mm, help me somebody. Yeah. What you going to say? Yeah. Amen. If he's answered a prayer, lift you from a down place. What you gonna say? Thank you. Oh, help me, somebody. I'm talking about got you hired. What you gonna say? I'm talking about raising your hands. I'm not talking about clapping your hands, raising your hands, bowing your head. I'm talking about a blessing to the Lord with all your soul, all your might, all that's within you. Bless His holy name. Hear me. Uh, I watched the other day. Uh, I watched uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas. Uh, I watched it coming up too. I know y'all. Oh, yeah, uh, I know y'all, some of y'all got gifts, but y'all know he's a mean one. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Right? Stink. Stank. Stomp. Okay, now hear me. Hear me. Now the new one, I never watched that new thing with Jim Carrey. I didn't watch it. Yeah. <laughs> now, <clears throat> the Grinch stole every little thing that the little girl, it was a pea, a small pea. He took it. Now, why did he bring it back? Why did he bring that thing back? No. See, y'all, see, well, you, you, remember, don't ever forget this. They woke up the morning, he woke up Christmas morning, and saw all of the Hooters in a circle, thanking and praising God. Yeah, all right, all right. Don't tell me praise the words is not contagious. Good. They praised the blessed soul, even though they didn't have no, they didn't have not one piece of blessing. Yeah. Yeah. They got in a circle. Right, right. Oh, it'll be on this month. Watch it. Remember, remember, Thunder the Bass told you this. They got in a circle yeah. in Hooterville yeah. or Hooville, yeah. hand in hand, and they praised the blessed soul. Even though they have a blessing, and the Grinch went, Bing! it got contagious. And him and that little poor dog yeah. brought every gift back. Hear me? Because when you bless the blessed soul, everything that's stolen, he brings it back. Oh, you ain't here. David said, I will bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, for I forget not his benefits. Yeah. Oh, help me somebody. Beloved, open your mouth and say something. Yeah. Amen. All is within you. Beloved, in 1 Thessalonians, now God says, be thankful in all things. We are ordered by God and the psalmist to say thank you. So you look around, what you, how you feeling today, what you bring through, and man, when you get home, look, what you gonna say? Yes, Lord. So you see the request. Amen. You see the requirement. Amen. Now let's look at the reason. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 3. Who forgiveth all our iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Oh, help me somebody. Oh, iniquity. Yeah. Mm. Iniquity is deeper than trespass. Iniquity is deeper than sin. God forgives what's perverted about me. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all don't right. forget with this. What's bent and crooked about me. All right. Oh, help me somebody. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No matter how holy I try to act. There's something perverted yeah. 
in me. Yeah. Amen. There's something twisted in me. Yeah. There's crooked in me. Yeah. When I want to do good, evil is still always present. Yeah. The Bible says when I want to do good, amen, I still do bad. Oh, what wretched man, not that I was, but that I am. Yeah. Amen. The good that I would do, I find myself not doing. The evil I don't want to do, I still do. Because there's something crooked yeah. in me. Yeah. Only folks that can shout about it, amen, are those who realize despite how good you look this morning. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. I love it. Amen. There's something twisted in you. Yeah. You mean to do right, yeah. but you choose to do wrong. Yeah. Hear me. Mm -hmm. Everybody in here yeah. is a Dr. Jekyll. And Mr. Hunter. Amen. You have the old nature that's battling the new nature every morning. Every morning. Throughout the day. Yeah. Amen. With Dr. Jekyll. You better hear me. And beloved, we all have something we need to hide. Amen. Amen. Now hear me. God still forgives. Yeah. Amen. I could shout right there. Yeah. Amen. I don't just sin every week. I'm just talking about me. Mm. Uh, some of y'all are so holy, your, your dress is covering your wings. Amen. <laughs> your hat is covering your halo. Oh, help me somebody. But I know I'm not, I'm not the only right, crook right, in here. Right, right, right. Right. Amen. I know I'm not. Hey, but God, hear me now, says you got no business teaching Sunday school. No business singing in the choir. No business standing in the pulpit. Right. But God looked beyond my faults, yeah. my wickedness, yeah. my lies, my treachery, my backbiting, my wantonness, and let me preach his word, yeah. teach his class, and sing his praises. Yeah. Oh, help me somebody. People love me out. Hear me. People love us out of ignorance. Mm. Oh, I need you to get this. Right. Amen. You don't get that. But God loves you with complete knowledge. Oh, help me see. Pe people love you because of what they don't know. Love it because of what they don't know. But God loves you and knows everything about you. Hallelujah to the love of God. Yes. Love it. Uh, then he says, uh, he heals all of my diseases. Yeah. Now hear me. Not cancer, not depression, yeah. not addiction. Now let me say something here. There's some things that God says, uh, he heals physically, we know that. Yeah. But there are times he chooses not to. Because God says, in essence, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned more about your soul right. than your body. Yeah. Uh, essence, you see, uh, uh, he's talking about uh, soul diseases. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of us in here uh, are dealing, uh, have dealt with cancer, uh, depression, uh, addiction. Mm -hmm. uh, but my soul needs to be delivered from the cancer of sin. All right. uh, there's some things that God says we just have to go through. Hear me. And Isaiah 53 is one of the most misquoted and misapplied scripture in all the right, Bible. Right, right. Uh, say, by his stripes we are healed. Mm -hmm. God does not always heal physically. He soothes us at times physically. By his stripes we are healed from sin and iniquity. Hear me. There's some medications I take every day. I hear me. And God reminds me to take that medication so I keep my flat feet on the ground. Amen. Hear me. Now let me say something to you. When Lazarus got sick, mm -hmm. they came to Lazarus and said, Lazarus, they came to Jesus and said, Lazarus, whom you love, is sick. Right. Now hear me. That's important because mm -hmm. you need to know that even though Jesus loves you, you're going to get sick. Yeah. He 
He didn't say Lazarus who loves you is sick. Because I love is tainted. Our love is impure. Our love got spots on it. But his love and his blood is pure. It heals all of your sinful diseases and your iniquity. You know, we talk about this, that when you cut yourself, there's healing blood that goes to the womb. But it doesn't heal that wound immediately. Yeah. What it does is let you know you've been cut. You ain't good. <laughs> all right. And what we do is, if at all possible, we put our hand, we want that blood staying up. Oh, y'all like that. Mm. You stick your hand, you put your hand right in your mouth. Because mm. yeah. you, you, so, you love you so much of you, you say, whatever it is coming out of there, I want to stay in me. <laughs> now, hear me. God says, I love you too much to leave you down here. Mm -hmm. no, let, me, let, me, let me make it even plain. God allows what he hates to get what he loves. Mm -hmm. All right. God allows what he hates to get what he loves. Mm. Now hear me. And knowing that, what God says is, you see, that we are all going through something. But we're going through. Yeah. We're going through. Yeah. Uh, Y'all will get it in a minute. We're going through. Yeah. Not to. Every step you take is a step from leaving what started. Yeah. Once you're in the cave, every step you take, you're on your way out. Yeah. Yes, sir. You may struggle with what you're going through. What you're going through. Oh, hear me. While you're going through it, shout. Yeah. Praise. Throw up your hands and bless the Lord. Yeah. You'll always get places, hear me, faster by not worrying about how long it takes. Right, right, right. You ever notice that? Yeah. You get to places faster by not worrying about how long it takes. Somebody tell your kids to sit down. No, we ain't there yet. Because <laughs> once they turn the corner, we there yet, Mom? Are we there yet? Because they weren't, it seems so long then, because they weren't about, no. If you don't worry about how long it takes to get there, you get there much faster. Remember that in life. Yeah. Remember that. Now hear me. Hear me. You always get places faster that way. Just, uh, you know, <clears throat> construction, there's construction on every highway. Mm. 70, mm. 270, yeah. 40, yeah. amen. Everybody, if, as we travel through life, there's always going to be detours, yeah. construction. Yes, sir. We, uh, I get mad too. Sometimes I blow, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and just, just do some prayer just to be blowing, but they ain't going to stop working just to get you through. Yeah, right. Help me somebody. Amen. And we're, but the essence is, uh, in life, uh, there are detours, mm. uh, construction, track with backups, warning signs, yeah. uh, one lane, uh -huh. uh, intersections. But just praise God while you're on your way. Yeah. Because if you're a believer, you're on your way somewhere. Right, right. We're on our way to heaven. But while we're en route there, yeah. Amen. There's Slu Hospital, Carla Glennon, Barnes, St. Mary. Oh, y'all are hearing me. Yeah. Detours. Amen. The job, that boo, your baby, mm -hmm. they detours. That nephew, that ridiculous daughter, that crazy son, you ain't hearing me. That beloved, adorable grandchild, that you love him, but take your back to your mama now. Amen. 
That, that, hey, that's what make it, they, they make it good, you know, that's good. You can always take, you can take it back and, and do it in a good way. Amen. But, but these are all detours, help me somebody, on our way to where we're going. Yeah. The Sunday school lessons talk about uh, something being expedient, but all things lawful. There's nothing in the world wrong with a picnic basket. Mm -hmm. But if you're going down on a plane and you reach for the parachute, you get the wind and you get the picnic basket. All right. The picnic basket becomes a bad thing. Because a good thing becomes a bad thing and keeps you from the best thing. Mm. All right. Forgive me. Bible says, amen. There are destructions. He says, amen. He says, he crowns the demons my life from destruction. He crowns the demons with loving kindness and tender mercies. He says, he satisfies my mouth with good things. Mm, help me somebody. When he says about destruction, he's talking about a pit. Mm -hmm. And that pit, amen, think, I think about Joseph's story. Because what happened to Joseph, they threw him in a pit. And it would look like destruction turned into a redemption. All right. Oh, now hear me. Uh, when you read Joseph's story, uh, he went through a great deal of detours. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And he went through all the detours. But in the midst of the detours, the Bible says over and over, God was with him. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, uh, God is like that. Little sister that's six years old that goes with you 15 everywhere you go. You don't want to take them all the time, but because they're gonna tell everything they see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna tell, oh, I'm gonna tell. So you only but but that's what God is. God is with you everywhere you go. Yeah. Oh, help me say. And the essence is the Bible says Joseph was with him. God was with him. God was with him. And when he finally got Amen exonerated. He says, what you meant for evil. Yeah, yeah. God turned into good. Yeah. Because, beloved, hear me. I don't care how close you think you are with some folk. They will throw you Come on. in a pit. Yeah. You got to hear me. Uh, uh, his brothers threw him in a pit. Only one brother said, you can't do this. Yeah. Don't do that. Amen. Oh, help me somebody. Because there's always somebody. When God is with you, there will always be some representative. Yeah. Oh, help me somebody. And Joseph, amen, was exonerated. You know why? Because Joseph did wonderful in the second season. Mm. Yeah. I see that. He didn't become king over Pharaoh. No. He was second to Pharaoh. But we're talking about Joseph because he did well mm, all right. in the second season. Two is a number of witness. The second son of God, the second person in the Trinity is who? Jesus Christ. He does well. Thank you. <laughs> Then it says, hey, amen, verse 5, he satisfies my mouth. Um, now hear me, when you feed a baby, they take as much as you, as you give them. Just, yeah. <laughs> as much as you give them. Cream of wheat stuff is far out of this. Much, the baby don't know how to say, oh, hold on, hold on, let me, let, me fit, let, me, let me swallow this. They don't do that. Right? Yeah. Hey, amen, now hear me, don't miss this. They take as much as you give them, but you put a bill on to catch the overflow. Okay, help me. Some of us in here have a bill on. All right. And God has given me help and strength, eyesight, amen, taste of my food, the love of my family, my friends, and desire to do his will. I'm determined to come to church to do my job. Amen. Gave me a bed to sleep in, clothes to wear, some stuff I didn't even ask him for. So when my blessings start overflowing, You better hear yeah. I got my bill on. Yeah. 
Yeah. You better hear me. May not look good to you, but every day he feeds me. When yeah. fall out of my mouth. <laughs> look, look at Stephen over there. That's right. Look at him. <laughs> Everything that God has for me, I want for me. And he keeps pouring it into me. I am happier now than I've ever been in my life. I have more joy now than I've ever had in my life. I sleep better now than I've ever slept in my life. I sleep because my belly is full. It might not be what you want me to have, but I'm having what God wants me to have. The loving I go wrong with my bill, and my bill is filthy because you better hear me. I have filthy reach for what God gives me. Everything God gives me, I want it all. There's something God has given me that I haven't even asked Him for. Amen. It just starts flowing because I got my beard on. Amen. I don't want to waste a drop. Amen. Let some drops fall. Let some drops fall. Oh, help me, somebody. Thank you, God, for my beard. God has renewed my youth like the eagles. Some stuff don't bother me no more. Stuff that used to get on my nerves, stuff that used to do used to piss me off, don't bother me no more. Oh, you ain't hearing me. My bark has gotten thicker. Amen. Your opinion don't matter like it used to. I'll take it, but it don't matter. You better hear me because I have a God that says, whoever he says I am, that's who I am. You better hear me. Amen. Stop worrying about other folks' opinions. Stop taking a poll. Don't worry about a poll. You're not selected to your position. You're selected by God. God has renewed my youth like the eagle. Some stuff just don't bother me. Amen. And God he keeps me in perfect peace. Because my mind is staying on him. And for that, I bless the Lord. I'm not focused on what God has for me. I'm not waiting till the hear me, till the, till the battle is over for God's blessing my, and my anticipation. I'm happy right now. I'm shouting before the battle is won. I'm shouting before the fight is over. Because I know I got the victory. The fight is fixed. Oh, help me somebody. I will bless the Lord. If God has been blessing you and put, got your beard on, you have, you have blessed it because you ask not, but you, you have not because you ask not. Ask him for it. Ask him for it and expect it and put your beard on. Put it on because God is going to give it. You better hear me. Wear that beard, beloved. You want the matching outfit? Then get you several of them and get your name put on you don't want this one to take your beer. No, what God has for me is for me. You better hear me. Amen. Bless his name. I thank him. Beloved, bless his holy name. I'm telling you about my Lord and Savior. He was born in poverty, smothered in Africa, hunted by hair rods, baptized in the muddy joy, misunderstood by the family, forsaken by friends, deserted by disciples, betrayed by a brother, praying in the garden. He made this decision. Not my will, but thine be done. Arrested without arraignment. Tried on trumped up charges. Sentenced to prejudice between, between soldiers. Built by soldiers. Mock by a mob. Nailed to a cross. Pierced in his side. But on the cross, he gave the power of God. Praying it to your hands. I commend my spirit. And on that Friday, he died. Then he died. He died. And he stayed there. All night Friday. All day Friday. All day Friday. Love, you need to know that there are some things I may not know. There are some things in life 
Though there's not yet, there's always room. Amen. We thank God. For this Thanksgiving we can. Amen. Bless this holy day. Amen. Now, this is the last day that you, that you can say, Amen, this month, happy holidays. Uh, starting December 1st is Merry Christmas. No happy holidays. The happy holidays is Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, Amen, Memorial Day, Labor Day, but not, not Merry Christmas. Amen. 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 Again, it's not this is always wrong. Amen. We have any guests in the house. All of our guests, would you please stand? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Could you please greet us? Amen. Thank you for being here with us. Hear me. Our worship service is a lot better because you were here then. Amen. 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 Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So it's all over your beard now. It's all over your beard. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But know this that our work service is, is a lot greater because you were here. Amen. Amen. Yeah, don't never believe. Make sure your bill gets all sawed up with God is feeding you. Amen. Overflow. Go ahead, sweetheart. Mm. Come out of the school. Mm. Oh! Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, sweetheart. Bless you, sweetheart. Amen. Amen. So you've gone from girlhood to womanhood and just looking good. Amen. Yes, sir. All by, All by the grace of God. How did you not bless the Lord? Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 Brother God, we're bowing low with your middle. You better hear me. Amen. And I'm vital. Hear me. Because if we don't recognize our history, uh, we lose it. Amen. And once it's lost, that's what I mean about truth. That's historical truth. Amen. And I need you to know that what I just said to you today was truth. Amen. We all have something to bless the Lord, bless the God for. Amen. God responds to thank you. Amen. God responds to thank you. Amen. Our hearts are minds are clear. Is that the church? Live life expecting, not wanting, 
David, to keep you from falling, to send you fathers before the presence of his glory, to see the joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, the glory and passion, dominion and power, both now and forever. I love you, Copperfield. Amen. Go and serve your king.